Good morning. Hello, hello. How is everyone today? Hope you're doing well. It's the middle of the week. That's exciting. Um, this is helping me like keep track of the days because for a while the days have just been like, like I thought it was Friday one day and it was actually Monday. Yeah, kind of crazy. But so doing these live videos is actually helping me keep track of the days of the week. It's kind of nice. So thank you for helping me. It's good to be here. I'm glad you guys are here also. So let's get started today. We're going to talk about the eight health benefits of walking. So it's still super nice out in Minnesota. It can be a little chilly, but it's still nice enough for a walk around a lake or just around your neighborhood. Dom and I used to go for walks all the time. We would just leave the house and we'd be like left or right, left or right at every intersection and just kind of bop around the neighborhood. We saw some really fun, cool things in neighbors' backyards. We would do like alley walks where we would only walk through the alleys because people get rid of all sorts of stuff in Minneapolis in the alley. Um, it just it's kind of fun. So there's crazy benefits from just going for a short walk every day, whether it's simply around the block, which is great, um, or you know, going for a walk around one of Minneapolis lakes, which is like three miles long, most of them. So there's a lot of benefits to it, and we're gonna talk about them right now. So number eight is that it actually benefits your mental health. So it helps, so it means your body gets more oxygen, um, you get tired less quickly, really, when your body is getting more oxygen. Then, bear with me here, um, it releases the feel-good hormones, right, known as endorphins, into your bloodstream. You get that natural high. It helps reduce stress, anxiety, um, and ultimately, like, it can help you build your self-esteem, your confidence. I mean, how great is that, you guys, right? Um getting the, the blood flowing to the brain that was like the number one thing in CPR class, right? Was you want to get the blood flowing to the brain because I think it was only four minutes that your brain can go without oxygen. Um, so anytime that you can pump extra blood going through that brain, get, get the blood moving through your body, it's a really good thing. Number seven. You fell over. There you go. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna be one of those awesome days today. That's what that means. Okay, number seven, get connected. So we all have our own individual goals and, um, you know, like when you're walking, you always take the same path. Uh, what if you, like, talk to somebody that was, like, walking with, like, you know, that you passed by, like, hey, do you want to walk together tomorrow? Great. Um, what if you did that? Oh my gosh, it could make somebody's day. Even with COVID, you can go for a walk outside, social distance style together, right? Um, there are walking group meetups. Um, Dom and I actually participated in a few of those about five years ago, I would say. Um, I don't remember why, I just signed up for it and I was like, I want to meet new people and I wanted to go for walks around the lake and Dom didn't always want to do that with me, but he ended up doing it with me every time, which is kind of funny. But it was great. We met all sorts of people. Some people had their dogs. You know, there was probably 15, 20 of us just walking around and chatted with people. It was a good time. So check out online. There's a lot of walking group meetups as well. Okay, so getting connected is a good thing. All right, number six. It boosts your energy levels. So I already touched on this briefly. Um, but it increases your circulation and like I said, the oxygen to supply to your brain and really to every single cell in your body um, helps you feel more alive, more alert. Regular walking, kind of like I've talked about previously, also means that it can help you sleep better as well. Um, it can also help if you have like really stiff joints. Um, it can help you kind of ease that muscle tension. I know for me, if, um, like, for instance, if I do some crazy workout and I'm sore for, like, five days straight, because that happens, if I, if, like, two days later after the workout, right, you're always the most sore, but if you actually do a light workout or even go for a walk, it eases that muscle tension. So walking can just do that in general, right? It helps support your joints and eases that muscle tension. So, um, let's see what else. Oh. 
Yeah. And, you know, you feel sluggish at times, but a lot of times if you feel that way and you get up and you start moving, and if you go for a simple walk around the block, um, like your energy level is instantly boosted. So try going for a walk just around the block today. All right. Number five is getting your vitamin D in, right? We get vitamin D from the sun. It can actually, um, yeah, even if it's like a little cloudy out and a little dreary, it's still super nice to be out in the fresh air, um, you know, just out and about in, in nature, even in the middle of Minneapolis, you can be out and about in nature. So go outside, get some vitamin D. Um, and it actually, okay, so it plays a big role in everything from bone health to immunity. And I really want immunity during this whole COVID thing. Not that I'm going to be immune from COVID, but anything I can do, I think, that helps me in any sort of sense with immunity, I'm game for it right now. I'll give it a try. If it's something as simple as walking, you betcha, I'm going to go do it. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Number four. So this goes back to your brain, but it actually helps preserve your gray matter. Aha. <laughs> so um, dementia, you guys, affects one in 14 people over the age of 65 and one in six over the age of 80. So it's worth bearing in mind that regular exercise can reduce that risk by up to 40%. Now that was from realbuzz.com. So, I mean, I think, I think I read somewhere at one point that we're all going to, we would all get dementia if we lived long enough. So as other people, you know, people die from things other than dementia, obviously. Um, but they say if we lived long enough, that would be what would, that would start happening to every single person on this planet. Um, so just going for a walk, I mean, if that can help in the slightest little bit, I'm also game for that. Um, I remember my grandma had Alzheimer's. She didn't know who I was. I was, I think I was like 12. Um, and that was really hard. That's really hard to watch. That's really hard to go through. So um, not that walking is going to cure anything, but let's try going for walks. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll help, right? Okay. Moving on before I start crying this morning. Number three is it helps you lose weight. So yeah, I mean, duh, that's kind of a, a given, right? People that walk regularly, they can maintain their weight. They can lose their weight. It's a really good thing. Um, the more muscle you have, the faster your metabolism generally, because muscle burns calories faster than fat. Um, yeah, so you can burn off more calories um, and lose some weight just by walking. Okay, number two, helps you strengthen your bone structure. So obviously for joints to work at their best, um, they need to keep lubricated, right? They need to keep moving. So it gives your knee joints a workout as you're walking. Um, can increase your muscle strength, obviously. Keep your bones strong. Um, do, do, do. It strengthens your bones, increases their density, and helps maintain healthy joints. There we go. So there's that. It helps strengthen your bone structure, which is pretty damn important. <laughs> and then the first one. Um, of our eight health benefits of walking is that it can actually increase your posture and tone your muscles. So as you're walking, you need to use your core muscles to stay upright, right? Um, you use your leg muscles, and as you're swinging your arms, you're using your arm muscles. So you're actually getting like a pretty much of a full body workout just from going for a walk. Amazing. So as you get tighter, as your um, like core gets stronger, it actually helps you improve your posture. So if you're walking around and you're completely hunched over, like you're gonna get sore faster, you're gonna get um, weird pains, you know? So if you can straighten up, it actually just helps with everything. So your posture is definitely connected to things. Um, again, helps you tone your muscles. So those are my eight health benefits, you guys, of walking. And it's literally as simple as being like, I'm going to put these flip-flops on. It doesn't even matter. Whatever shoes you have. And just go for a quick walk around my block. Like, how many times have you done that? Probably never. A lot of us, right? Just go for a walk around the block. Say hi. Hey, what's up, neighbors, as you're walking? Yeah. It, it, it's so helpful on so many levels. So, 
Anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know of some fun health benefits. It's still nice out. Don't let winter come so quickly, right? Get out there, go for a quick walk. Um, and yeah, let me know how it goes. Let me know how you felt. You know, I'd love to hear from you. So yeah, if you want to get connected, you guys, talk more one-on-one, -on -one, work more one-on-one -on -one with anything health and wellness related, I got you covered. Um, just go to rootdownwellbeing.com. Um, and fill out a free wellness profile. We'll get started. Okay. Love you all. Have a great Wednesday. Bye.